A good talk, everybody. So let me tell you, Misa, you know, the Baal Shantav had many disciples, many students. Um, there were two particular brothers that were chassidim, that were students of the Baal Shantav, and these two brothers were absolutely brilliant people, huge Tamidi Chachamim. Not only were they huge scholars and, and just deep thinkers, they came from a family of, of, of rabbis, of judges, of Dayanim, very chash of a very illustrious family of Tyra. And they connected themselves to the Baal Shem. Now it happens to be these two brothers had a younger sister, and this younger sister was coming of marriageable, marriageable age, and so they figured they'll go to their rabbi, the Baal Shem, to ask for a bracha for Shaduchim, that their sister should be able to get married, uh, gleich and smooth and easy. And so they come to Baal Shem with their sister's name. The Baal Shem looks at it, and he said, they ask him for a bracha. And the Baal Shem says, I'll do even better. Instead of just giving a bracha, I'll tell you who the chassan is, and I'll tell you where to find him. <laughs> so the Baal Shem takes a piece of paper, writes the chassan's name, and the name of the shtetl that the chassan is in. He says, go, shatayva, everything should be fine. So, you know, in those days, in those circles, it was a little different than now. When they told their sister that the Baal Shem has the chassan for you, she said, okay, gewaldik, let's get married. You know, it was, it was simpler like that. So <clears throat> these two brothers travel with their sister to that particular shtetl. Again, they've never been there before. They don't know who this chassan is, but they have the name. So they start asking around this, uh, for this, uh, let's call him uh, Maisha. So they, they, they're asking for this Maisha. And uh, they call him Reb Maisha. And people are thinking, Reb Maisha, by that name? Until eventually, finally, people said, oh, you mean... You mean Moshe the peasant, you know? So, okay, if that's the name, that's the name. And so they meet this Moshe, and Moshe is a sweetheart of a guy, sweet, sweet bacher, delightful midas, everything great, a complete amart, a complete ignoramus, doesn't know Aleph base, doesn't know anything, comes from a family of Ami Aretz. Not much of a shidduch with where this girl's family is coming from, not much of a shidduch at all. Sweet boy, but not a Tamil Chacham uh, by any f- stretch of the imagination. But the Baal Shem said, it's a Shedech, it's a Shedech. So the girl was masking, that's it, so they get married. Now, <clears throat> the, the Chasana was held back by the girl's family, where the Baal Shem was. And so by the Shedech Brachas, the Chasana is sitting next to the Baal Shem. And in those days, the Minig was, even nowadays, the, uh, by many people, the Minig is that the Chasana says Torah, he says over... Uh, some deep idea, some, you know, profound uh, Torah concept by the Sheva Brachas. So the Baal Shem Tov turns to the Chas and he says, No, Zog Epis, say Avart, say Taira. So the Chas and says, Rebbe, I don't know, I'm, I don't know Alf, but I'm going to say, I don't know anything. So the Baal Shem Tov said, okay, it's not a problem. The Baal Shem Tov took his handkerchief out of his pocket, passed it over the face of the Bachar, of the Chas, and all of a sudden, the chassan's eyes light up, and he starts saying the most unbelievable, profound, complex, beautiful Torah for like a half hour. And after the half hour shmooze is over, all of a sudden, you know, his eyes dull again, and he's back to who he was. Like, you know, what I say, what what just happened? Okay. The next chas, the next day, Shavu Rach is the next day. Also, the Baal says to the chassanu, Zagap is say Torah. He says, Rabbi, I don't know anything. It's not a problem. Takes the handkerchief, does the whole thing again. Also, the guy is just like pouring Tyra. But then the, once the Tyra is, is over, once the shear is over, he's back to being the same ignoramus. And this follows itself every single day of the, of the Shavu Brachas. So finally, after the Shavu Brachas is over, the Baal Shem Tov brings the Chassan into his office and he says, listen, I, I'm, not, I'm not stupid. I know that the family that you're married into is not, they have different backgrounds than you. I understand that you're not as learned as they are. And you probably think that the miracles that took place over Sheva Brachas, that you all of a sudden, through my, through my handkerchief, was able to say Tyra, you probably think that was just like a miracle that I, was, I put Tyra into your head. But you should know that's not the way it was. You are a Talmud Chacham. You have the soul of a Talmud Chacham. You're a Jew. You have Tyra inside of you. Happens to be the Tyra inside of you is covered over with many layers and many years of ignorance. All I did with my handkerchief was for that moment, for that half hour, to uncover the Torah that you already have. And so now, after Sheva Brachas, that you now know what Kaychis you have inside of you, Zilgamar, now go study, go to Yeshiva, go learn, and discover the waters of Torah that are beneath the, your own surface. That Maisa the Baal is not only true for that Chassan, it's true for every single one of us. A Yid is Mali Vagadosh, a Yid is overflowing with Torah, 
overflowing with Kedusha. A person doesn't have to acquire Torah from the outside. A person does not have to acquire Madrigas from the outside. You have a Neshama, you have a Chelek al al Mamish. It means that you are a Lebedic, you are a living piece of the Dvar Hashem. Avodis Hashem is about uncovering that. So the Chasm was Zaycha to realize that with the handkerchief of the Baal Shem, but we have to Mechazik ourselves from the story of the handkerchief of the Baal Shem, to, to remember who we are, what Kaychas we have, and Bez Hashem to uncover the Kaychas that we have to become the people that we have to become, that we will become, Bez Hashem that we want to become. Hashem shall bless each and every one of us with a week of Giloy, of revelation of who we are, of what the world is, of, of the godliness beneath the, the surface of all things, a week of Shefa, Bracha, Natslacha, a week of Gula, Biaskal Tzadik, Mherevi, Amen.